Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Ako Poshi Deni. Uh, I'm a pure Korean with Filipino health and I've spent uh, nearly a year in the Philippines. At that time, I was a uh, university student, so I went to the Philippines as a uh, internship trainee, so I've worked at a restaurant and a hotel, and also I attend to the school to study my major. It's not that long, but not too short. So I've experienced the Philippines cultures a lot. So I experienced several Filipino cultures. And when I returned to the Korea, I really miss the culture. So that's one of the reasons why I want to go back to the Philippines. Today, I found a really good video on YouTube. So today I'm going to react five wacky things about Filipino cultures. I really, really wanted to watch this video with you guys together. Then, now, let's begin! Alright, now let's begin. I'm so looking forward to this video. I highly agree this Philippines is really, really, really great country. I believe, I know. Yes, let's continue. The culture shock in the Philippines is less extreme than most places in Asia, like Japan. Uh, or Tajikistan because yeah 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 most of Filipinos can speak English but some people is really really good at English and also the pronunciation is like to uh, the American intonation pronunciation like that but some of Filipinos uh, cannot uh, speak English at all but it's the case by case but the friends that I met in the Philippines, most of my friends can speak English very well. Three things I've noticed about this country that might have you scratching your head, like eating sweet spaghetti with red hot dogs and replacing ah, toilet paper with so, so eating, uh, eating spaghetti with hot dogs, I already have experienced this culture. And uh, replacing toilet paper with a bucket of water, uh, I, I don't know that. I, I didn't have experienced that. The water. So now I present you with the top five I'm so looking for us to do. Balut! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Balut! Ah! So uh, a teacher in the school I attend, so she tries to me to eat balut. I didn't have any information about the balut, and when I try this. The, oh my god, sorry. If we, uh, some of you guys maybe like to eat balut, but it's for me. Oh, I hate this. It's not my taste. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I can just about eat anything in the world, and I pretty much have. This is called a century egg. It's a really old preserved egg. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Number two, social media upset. You might be thinking, isn't everyone obsessed with social media these days? Well, uh, yes. social media, they usually uh, using in a Facebook app, right? So I didn't have any uh, Facebook accounts. So, but in the Filipino friends, they are all using a Facebook. So now, so at the time, I signed up a new account and Facebook ID to chat with them. So anyway, they are really. Nation, yep. They are using social media. Particularly Facebook. They're yeah, all Facebook. Long. In fact, they love being online so much that they've earned the title of social networking capital of the world. And on the same note, one selfie is never enough. Number uh, three. Neighbor. Filipino time. time. What's that? He's supposed to be here in five minutes. Call him, call him. Ah, I understand, I understand the meaning of the Filipino tie. They usually late. Yeah, that's fun, that's fun, that's funny. Late tie, yeah. In other words, being late 
here means being early. Sometimes I feel like they do it on purpose. But then again, traffic is a nightmare. Look at this. Do you see this behind me? If you tell someone to meet for dinner at 8, then you can expect them at 8.45 or 9. Number 4, spoon and fork only. Mm, I use chopstick because I'm Korean. If they're not using chopsticks or their hands, spoons are only used for eating. When, when I go to the, the Manginasa restaurant, I tried to uh, I tried to using chopstick but my friends my friends asked me to using hand to eat manginasa so that's my first time experience to eat manginasa with by my hand using in soup or dessert. That's a but good experience opinion, though. Spoons are used as both a spoon and a knife, using the sharp edge to cut meat. You will almost always be served a spoon and a fork, rarely a knife. Number five, nosy people. Nosy if you know people. me or seen any of my videos about the Philippines, Welcome to then you know how much I love the people here. As I've said many times, Filipinos are the friendliest people in the world. Yeah, I hug like that. They're really friendly. As a foreigner, they will ask me so many questions simply because they are curious to know. And they aren't shy to be overly direct. Drew, you don't look well. Drew, I think it gains weight. Please do not mistake this it. video as a negative one. It was made out of pure good intentions. I love this country more than any other. And I just I want really, to really like Philippines. With you. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe Thank you for and join me making this video do. Filipinos are really friendly. When I'm in the Philippines, most of Filipinos are really kind to me. So I really, really miss the kindness and I want to repay your kindness someday. So that's why I create my channel to start as a uh, Philippines reaction YouTuber and someday I want to do make video for the Philippines something and someday I want to go to the Philippines and make a lot of videos for you guys Philippines because I love Philippines. Thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe and like. Then see you next video guys. Bye bye.